What is the coolest thing your teacher have ever done? ILL start. Kindergarten. Just one of my awesome teacher experiences. But one that I remember fondly this time of year. We were reading the story of the gingerbread man. Where the main line is the gingerbread saying you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man and then he runs away. Our teacher then tells us that she brought us a gingerbread man. But he ran away. We need to go catch him. So we go all around the school to different teachers classes. It was a K-8 school. And they all played along saying that they just saw him and he ran that way. Eventually we end up back at her classroom where we all split up to find him. Sure enough one of the girls screams out and we all gather around to see this giant gingerbread man our teacher made for us. And then we ate him. TL. DR. Kindergarten teacher led us on a chase around school looking for the gingerbread man. Still remember to this day at 25. We did that too. We ate the legs first so that bastard couldn't get away again. I had a chemistry teacher who was demonstrating liquid nitrogen and stuck his gloved hand straight into the flask. He brought it out, put it onto the desk and smashed it with a hammer into a thousand bits in front of the class. We all sat there with our mouths open looking at all the red fragments of his hand thinking WTF. What did he just do? One of the girls even fainted. Turns out he'd filled a glove up with tomato ketchup and hidden his real hand behind it. I had a teacher that pulled my all Fs all the time self aside and said told me he can see right through my rebellious bulls. Don't worry about any of these suckers, he said about the class behind us. This crap won't matter in two years he said he'd give me a minimum passing grade if I promised to join the debate team the following year. That summer he died of cancer. I made good on my promise and joined the debate team. Lincoln Douglas. I won every debate except for two. And took home a first place trophy for four out of the five tournaments I went to. I won best speaker at all of them. I got my crap together and went on to graduate from college a few years later with a 4.0 GPA, and I'm on a very different path than I was originally heading. Out of all of the lessons learned in my 12 years of public school, that 5 minute talk was the only one that mattered. He's in the back of my mind during every presentation, every job interview, and any time I need to take a step back and question everything. TLDR. A teacher pulled my head out of my butt and changed my life forever. That's a great story, man. If there is an afterlife I hope teachers like that get to see how important their influence really was during the time they had. 9th grade English. Skinny old bald English guy would jump up on the desks and reenact over the top saw duels while the class would be reading Shakespeare. Relevant story here. My 6th grade teacher would randomly jump on top of his desk and play hot lava using our desks to get from one end of the room to the other. Dude was freaking awesome. My physics professor in college had been getting really annoyed with students using laptops in class. On the day when he had been demonstrating liquid nitrogen, he walked over to someone in the front row and said here, I'll show you another liquid nitrogen use took the kid's laptop and covered it in liquid nitrogen. Everyone who hit and ahed and couldn't believe it. He then took it out and threw it on the ground shattering it, then kept teaching as if nothing happened. I had gotten there early that day and had seen the two talking before class. I put two and two together and realized they had obviously staged it but it was never discussed. My geography teacher was teaching us about icebergs in Norway today. He came in with a bedsheet over his head, and had an entire presentation pretending to be a talking iceberg. I'm in high school. It was awesome. I had a teacher who would buy us all coffee and donuts about once a month. All out of his own pocket too. That was pretty cool. And one time, he ordered a bunch of pizzas too. That was at Christmas, I believe. Again, out his pocket. English 10th grade, second week of school. We all came into class to get our tests back and the teacher is standing at the front of class just glaring at us. As we sat down he begins to explain that several students cheated on the last test. The next 60 minutes are filled with a lecture on the importance of academic honesty and how disappointed he is. He gives everyone a small slip of paper at the end and asks, if you saw anybody cheating last class, I want you to write their name down. You will get extra credit for correctly naming a student. I know who cheated. At this point everyone is freaking out. I hadn't looked up from my test last class so I wrote that I saw no one cheat. Five minutes later after he's collected the papers he says. 
Thank you all for your compliance in today's lesson. You have just completed an exercise to examine yourselves. Nobody had cheated. He just wanted to see if we would make up people's names at a chance of exoneration. TLDR. T. Chomin fucked us into outing students for cheating when no one did anything. This would have been even better in a college level class on ethics. I had a teacher who kept a rock on his desk. One day a kid took something too far, and my teacher picked up the rock and threw it at him. It was like slow motion. The kid's face changed from smug to raw terror. The rock hit him in the head and bounced right back off. It was foam. My teacher had been keeping a foam paperweight on his desk the whole year anticipating this moment. The kid sat there wide-eyed and breathing heavily for about a minute and the class erupted in laughter. I had a marine biology teacher that would let me use animals from our live tanks as hall passes. Crabs and sea anemones made color hall passes. I always hated when my hall crab shuffled away when I was taking a pee. I had an English teacher in high school who had us rip up our papers we had just written and deposit them into a compost pile so that hopefully our crap could turn into something useful one day. 1 million likes. High school papers are crap to read. I hated helping with senior papers. Was a math teacher. I'm sure this seems fairly boring in comparison. But I have a law professor who actually teaches litigation strategy through practical application. Though this isn't probably nearly as fun as things other teachers have done in this thread. This guy definitely deserves his props. He talks about old cases he's handled. The mistakes he made. And how to properly put a case through from start to finish. Compare it to professors who teach you just theory. With zero reference to practical application. The first thing this guy said is that he has a book on the syllabus for us to buy. But he knows none of us will read it. So don't bother if we don't want to. I learned more from this guy in 4 months, teaching from personal experience, than I have from any other professor thus far in law school or undergrad. I wish more teachers taught like this on all subjects. Last year, in Spanish class we were learning if clauses with the conditional and my group was assigned. If I were the teacher, I would. We said we would give everyone as an order pizza for the class. The next day she ordered pizza because she could only make one of those things happen got in touch with my dad and pulled me out of failing his math class in 5th grade. He talked to my dad about what could possibly be causing me to fail and he worked with me one on one during work time every once in a while. It was partly because I was too shy to ask questions and we worked through that. I passed and both him and my dad told me they were proud and knew I could do it. Got some teary eyes typing that. Mr. Down was awesome. I was a difficult student in high school and I had a teacher who tried to connect with me so personally. I do. It was pretty moving. As a teenager with less self worth than I should have had. As many teenagers do. It meant a lot. After class he had me stay after and went online and showed me his baseball stats from school. I didn't give a crap about sports. But he gave it a dang good shot and it meant a lot. He was a history teacher. He came and dressed up for the era he was talking about, and we all dressed in togas studying for the Roman Empire. Guy dies at 32 from a heart attack. Had a less than one year old baby. He was one of the good ones. One of my high school chemistry teachers was showing us the different reactions of elements with certain substances. When we go to the alkali metals, lithium, sodium, potassium, etc. We were all in awe when he put sodium and potassium in, then my friend asked what would happen if he had rubidium. Our teacher pulls it out from below the counter and said glad you asked. He cuts a nice size chuck to put in the water and it starts a huge flame and then blows up, making about 20-30 tiny holes in the ceiling tiles. Applause ensues. LOL. TL. DR. Chem teacher surprises us with a rubidium. Very reactive to water. Fire. One of my fave memories of high school. My old high school business teacher took me out to dinner a couple times, and paid me to help her move stuff from her old house to her new house. One day she invited me to her house and cooked dinner. I walked in the house and Marvin Gaye was playing on her stereo. Graduated in 08. This happened this year. Jesus man go on. Last 5 days of every infotech class I took. Counter strike and unreal tournament LAN party. That and him convincing me to go into computer science by showing how awesome stupid computers are. Wouldn't be where I am without him. Told me I could go to an Ivy League school. 
I had never even considered the possibility, just figured I'd go to community college or maybe a state school if I could afford it. She helped me research schools and applications, read my essays, and even helped my parents with the FAFSA. I'm now a junior at Yale. In 6th grade, my Q teacher announced that there will be a grand prize of Gamma Cube to whoever's name was chosen at the end of the quarter. Each time you finish reading a book and write a summary, you get a lottery ticket. So the more you read, the more lottery tickets you'll get. At that time, I really wanted a video game system. My family was poor, and of course can't afford that crap. So I started reading these mini books like crazy, and got several lottery tickets every week. This was an ESL class so there's not much competition, and my classmates pretty much gave up since I was so much ahead. In the end, I got the Gamma Cube. I don't know if she actually did the raffle or just pretty much gave it to me because I was the hardest worker. I enjoyed it, mainly Super Smash Bros, for a good 4-5 years till sometimes in high school. Keep in mind that she bought the Gamma Cube using her own pocket money. It's so rare to have a nice teacher like that, and... Frick now that I think about it, she was so cute, and hot, can't seem to get a hold of her now though, comma can't seem to get a hold of her now though, run faster. My English teacher's guidance is probably one of the fundamental reasons I'm at a good university and my life has direction, no other teacher believed in me. My 9th grade English teacher was the same for me, I wonder if he'd remember me if I were to email him. I had a teacher come from the UK I was in rural Canada. He got a lot of flack for his accent for some reason. Kids would just not give him any respect. I really liked his teaching though. He was very different from the other teachers we had and he really knew what he was doing. I chatted with him a bit and I think we were almost like friends. I think that was probably the most awesome thing he did for me. Just talking to me and treating me like a human being when a lot of other kids made fun of me. That kind of thing. Of course, my friend and I had a crush on him. We used to make lists of all the people we liked and he was on it. One day he stole the list from us. No idea why. He was just messing with us I guess. We were sitting outside in the hall waiting for classes on our break. He took it into his room, came back after a while, and handed it back without saying a word. It was never spoken of again, but he still was the coolest guy ever for also not making a huge deal of it. He used to make some sort of paint thinner for me when the art class ran out. He was our chem teacher. We ran out a lot when we were oil painting, but somehow he'd always mix up something for me. Really, he was just a cool guy. I wish I could tell him how much I appreciate what he did, but he disappeared off the face of the earth. My history teacher was a complete nutbag sometimes. One time, he got up and assumed some kind of strange kung fu like stance. While loudly shouting HYAAA, he then proceeded to violently kick an iron cabinet in the front of the classroom. The entire class went dead silent and watched him slowly walk to his desk to get a pencil. He walked back to the cabinet and put a stripe on the exact spot he kicked the thing saying, next time it will be higher. The class was too shocked and in awe of this magnificent randomness to even break out in laughter. By far the best thing that I ever saw a teacher do. My history teacher does this every day. He also attacks desks and cabinets with his yardsticks when they're not paying attention. He actually has a fake heater in the side of the classroom where he stores them. In high school, I had a 75 year old history teacher who loved to prank everyone. He would have the office call down historical figures over the announcement system and make fun of them when they didn't realize. One day, he brought in a tape recorder and tape with 20 minutes of silence. Followed by the song they're coming to take me away, he locked it in a closet in the room across the hall during class, and waited for the other teacher to come yell at him. One day, we hid it in his lunch and when it started going off, he just laughed through the whole song and stopped teaching. Well my prof didn't show up for class yesterday, so we got the afternoon off, and I was really happy. But then I start wondering if I'm too old to be happy when class is cancelled, especially since I have to pay for university. Actually, that is a good point. A lot of classes didn't bother meeting this week due to Thanksgiving, but there were a handful of professors who didn't decide to cancel class until 30 minutes beforehand. While the notion of not having class is nice, they are outright twats for not scheduling things properly and effectively screwing over students. I had a physics professor who loved to teach, 
We called him Mr. T. Not because he is a black dude with a mohawk. Rather, he is quite the opposite, a tall, lanky white guy with a buzz cut. We derived the moniker from his last name. Much less interesting. But I'm dwelling. My friends and I had such a fondness for him that we'd meet in his class after school to shoot the breeze and decide what to do with our afternoons. Usually BK Lounge or Halo. During these sessions, we'd often think of odd physics based questions. We did not know at the time, but Mr. T was taking inventory of these physical conundrums. Towards the end of the year, he took the entire class outside without much explanation. Mr. T had found a way to turn our musings into school endorsed experiments. I got to sit in a rolly chair and set off a fire extinguisher, which did not propel me backwards. It was awesome anyhow. We got to fire potato cannons, huge ones, and play with trebuchets. Best hour of class ever. TL. DR. My high school physics teacher is better than yours. My biology and physics teacher, same guy, brings out cough milk hot water for us to make coffee in class. He takes part in pretty much any joke in the class. This can get interesting during reproduction in biology. He will often start class discussions about about questionable topics. Ghosts, reincarnation, gods etc. He's a pretty laid back, understanding guy. I'll be honest, the coolest thing my teacher ever did for me, was believing in me. It gave me confidence and I ended up with a B in my history GCSE. I'm not academic, but I'm bloody proud of that B, and glad that she helped me out. It's also one of those situations that now I'm at my age. I would love to find her, just to say thanks. 3-4 years ago we were learning about Eskimos, and how they killed stuff. So my teacher pretended to be a seal that was being killed by Eskimos. This is by far the best, if you have footage please, for all that is beautiful and decent, post it. I was being a douchebag and talking during his lecture, so he took a piece of duct tape and slapped it over my mouth and told me to shut up while he was talking, then he ripped it off. I was pee at the time but looking back I deserved it. He was my favorite teacher, and treated me like a human being. He was the only person who called me out when I was being in butthole. I owe him a lot for that. When I was in 8th grade our area had a decent size earthquake. At the time I was in a classroom in the center of the school building which had no windows. When the power went out it was pitch black. As I was crouching under my desk I looked out to see my teacher walking back towards his before suddenly turning around and sprinting towards the front of the classroom. The lights went out before I saw what had caused him to turn around. When they finally came back he was standing at the front of the classroom, shielding my wheelchair bound classmate from anything that may have fallen on her with his own body. He played it off like it was no big deal but I still think it was cool and brave as heck. TL. DR. Teacher sacrificed his own safety for a student in a wheelchair. TL. DR. My 6th grade teacher enlightened me on the path of reading and writing by yelling and grading harshly. In 6th grade I entered middle school. At my elementary school I received bad grades, 2s and a few 3s, but no teacher really personally helped me or even graded me harshly for reading. In 6th grade my teacher was a mega B, however a very helpful B. I got into detention the first time that year, for a month straight, I was getting an F, which was probably my level when I started. Each day she would talk to me about how I needed to try harder and what I should study. I sucked at spelling. My writing was mediocre and I was just bad. She also graded very harshly, especially on mine. I remember fearing the days she'd pass back our work. She'd also call on me all the time and ask my opinion on a reading, something my teachers rarely did in elementary school. By the end of the year after trying the hardest I ever tried because she had no qualms about failing me I received a C. And I loved that C. Every year after that I've gotten it in reading and writing. I scored a 32 on my ACT reading test, I got a perfect score or 1 point from it on my writing ACT score, I made my school's newspaper and I can say I'm a lot better at writing and reading I hope this block of text I'm writing as soon as I woke up proves it. One of my history professors starts every class with clips from things like Monty Python and Stephen Colbert, but he also always plays a couple of clips during class. Best thing he's ever done. We were being taught supply and demand. He showed us a clip of MC Hammer dancing. 
then asked us who here would do that for $1,000. A lot of hands went up. He repeated the question until five guys did it for $1 each. He even brought out the MC Hammer pants for them. Had an English teacher that during the World Cup agreed that if we all did an essay about something related to the World Cup, that we should research the World Cup and watch it during class while it was on. Watched World Cup all week and wrote an essay on the history of British soccer chants. It was the most BS I ever put on paper, and I got an A. I had a physics teacher who would occasionally rig a test question so the answer was 666. Many of the more religious students would round incorrectly and get it marked wrong. Username. Once, my teacher confronted a dad who was beating his son. The dad got angry and tried to punch my teacher but my teacher blocked it and nailed him in the stomach. He was going for a headshot but he noticed everyone was watching them by then so he stopped himself and said you're not worth it, impressing charges against you. Afterwards, the principal spoke to our teacher and asked him what did it feel like to hit that xenophobic. I've seen kindergarten cop, too. Two men at a list, my English teacher made high school enjoyable. I can't even begin to describe it. She is my second mother, she cried at my graduation. Even now, been at uni for a year, away from high school for two. We get together whenever I'm in town for coffee or whatever. I was invited to her kid's baptism and his first birthday. She is so awesome. She named her son Austin after Jane Austen. Her husband, a minor, actually explosives expert but semantics, still thinks it's Austin, Texas, a man's name. Oh, she also smoked weed with me the weekend after my graduation. Lovely teacher, love her dearly. My physics teacher makes his own furniture and belts. He lost his, his ring finger on a table saw and drove himself to the hospital. I've got too many stories to write down. He should really do an AMA. He believes that the reason he lost his finger is because in a past life, he was a conquistador and he cut off the finger of a native that he captured. I'm in social anthropology. Our prof managed to get a medicinal marijuana client to come in to talk about her illness. This lady brought three full Ziploc bags of medicinal and all of her several types of smoking utensils. She wanted to show the class how all her equipment worked, so she proceeded to smoke weed in class for the next two hours like she wanted to hotbox the class. Needless to say, I was pretty jealous. My history teacher organized a trip to France and Germany. We visited all the important famous locations of World War 1 and World War 2. Greatest trip of my life. My GCSE physics teacher got me and my friends into a guest lecture at the local university on string theory. Only one of my friends ended up doing anything related to physics, but it was still pretty cool to us. Geeks. Another physics teacher at A-level devoted one lesson a week to Q&A so you could have one-on-one -on -one help with stuff. After everyone else left myself, friends and said teacher would hang around talking about Buffy and Star Trek. I had a math teacher in 8th grade who must have been bipolar. My diagnosis. Whenever someone would interrupt class or just be goofing off he would yell things like I'm going to rip out your cage and wear it like a football helmet. And I'm so angry. When I look at you all I can think about a duct tape and hand grenades. Practically half of the school could hear him go on his tirades. Which would happen multiple times a day. Considering it was the public school system he was teaching in. He might as well have gotten away with murder the thing is he was hilarious. Everyone loved the guy. My apes teacher said that anyone who didn't believe in evolution and didn't want to study it for their personal reasons had to write a 15 page paper about why evolution is false with scientific evidence backing it. I was seriously fricky in my head. Hooray for sanity in the south. Now I want to be a teacher just so I can do this. I had the most amazing French teacher in high school. He made up nicknames for everyone in his classes and always called them by those nicknames. No exceptions. What made him so extra awesome was one of the classes we had about halfway through the year. I guess he didn't feel like teaching that day so he said we were going to watch a movie. He turned out the lights, closed all the window shades and locked the door. He told the students sitting beside the door that if he heard anyone coming to yell, the movie he put on was the first Jackass movie. It had nothing to do with French but damn it, it was awesome. My dad was being a dickhead to my girlfriend and I when he found out we were going to have a child. Imagine that, lol. During our senior year of high school, 
I had gotten in trouble with my science teacher and my dad came down to investigate the situation and was all sorts of pee off that I had gotten in trouble at school. My English teacher happened to witness his tantrum and asked him to go for a drive with her. She then proceeded to tell him that I was having a child and he better just deal with it and support me because being an butthole to everyone wasn't helping the situation. Also, when my wife was pregnant and crying at school that same teacher pulled her aside and told her these exact words. You know what frick em frick everyone who doesn't think you can do this as I know you can and will be successful. That girlfriend is now my wife. My wife and I are now super close with my father. And my wife has followed her dreams and will become a doctor in May. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.